All right, guys, we are back out here doing it again. Um, today we are going to be targeting Cisco Tulubi. Can't really differentiate the two. I think they're they're both they're both the same in my opinion. But uh, yeah, we'll be targeting them, um, and hopefully we get it in on some. I have, this is actually my first time doing it too, so uh, don't know what to expect. But according to my brother and buddies, it's uh, pretty crazy. So we will see. All right, see you guys out there. All right, this is the lake. Um, it's actually pretty deep. I think it's like supposedly the deepest spot is like 90 feet of water, but there's kind of like a saddle that comes out from the shore. It comes out right where these a lot of traffic is right there. So we're gonna give it a try. I believe the limit here is 10, 10 a day. So if we're on top of them right away, we might just uh, limit and just go go scouting around. We will see. Oh yeah, you could drive here all right. Yeah. There's just so many holes that I can't even find the, the ones that I actually drilled. Got everything set up for whitefish still. I got a mark. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I got a mark. It's like I don't know what it is. It's chasing my my big lure at the bottom. Walleye? <laughs> Dude, I don't know what it is. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh! You see that? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he bit it just now. He's still there. There he comes up. What the? See, he's still there. Yeah. What is that? Dude, like, it likes my bottom lure, dude. Oh my god, what is that? Yeah, this is weird. Nice. Oh my god, that's so sh that's so sad. It's like a baby white fish. There you go. Dude, you chase it from the bottom. Yeah. Nice man. That's gonna be easy. Easy limit and we go home, man. There you go. Dude, it's so tiny, dude. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. What we came for. Look, it's got the machine gun shake like a... Like a whitefish. Oh, he's all wrapped up. So I'm using this bottom guy, just like whitefish, I'm using the bottom one to uh, attract them. I don't know if that's working or not. But there we are, came for these little mini machine guns. Nine more to go. <laughs> Dude, you should move over here. Yeah, I think there's more over here. Oh, look at that. instant chase. Not bad for not what we're doing. Yeah. First time going blind. I don't know if you guys can see it, but then like <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know if I should just not use the bottom guy. My my weight. Oh my gosh, true. So just for uh, perspective, guys, when they're biting, they feel like the smallest bluegill bite that you could feel like. Kind of like a little bluegill just bit it and ran kind of feeling. Really subtle. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do like a drop shot with three hooks. Suspended. Yeah, because there's just so many. 
There's like, are you seeing me? Not over here. Dude, drill right next to me, dude. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I have like four or five bars constantly, and it's not interference. Drop down, and then you you drop down, and you keep them in the area. And I'm gonna go put on another hook on top. I'm gonna go drag everything over here. Yeah. Dude, this is a joke, dude. Yeah, but that part is so subtle. Uh huh. Very. I wish I would have bought spikes. The little spikes, you know? Yeah. Cause these guys, their mouths are kind of small too. All right, guys, in the state of Wisconsin, we're allowed three hooks per line. Well, three lines total. Pretty much we can use up to three hooks. Okay, so I have my bloodworm fly on top. Ugh. Go tungsten wax, pink wedge with go tungsten. I'm gonna send all three down and hopefully we get a stringer. Oh my god, dude. It just lit up, huh? Dude, like. I slowly check all the way up and uh, a whole group of them just suddenly appear like throughout the whole water column. Yeah. That one. Just got one. Wax, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, like I don't know if my GoPro's on or not. <laughs> Ooh, he ate the bloodworm now. Yeah. Honestly, I think they just won't, they'll eat anything. Ah. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Well, that looks like a big one. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a joke, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know. I can't even tell. Uh, I can't even tell whether or not they're on or not. <laughs> yeah. It's like you just blindly set and then next no you're just pulling dead weight up. Not even dead weight. <laughs> These guys are like weightless. I'm using like an ultralight guys. Uh ultralight. It's a hit ice blues rod. It's been a few rod. I I really hate this rod. You can't feel any bites with it. But I'm only using it because I'm uh, more sensitive. Makes makes the bite look more intense. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you came out here. I know. This is funny. This is so funny. funny. Oh my god. Dude, I think these guys are like just biting and spitting. Yeah. Um, and if you just if you're just lucky and you just happen to set on them. I'm just catching them on the jiggly part, bro. <coughs> yeah, I think yeah, I think it's more like they bite it, and then you just your jigging is enough to set the hook on them. Yeah. Settle down, man. You almost got like your limit over there, man. <laughs> Bro, you can, you, like you got it like dialed down now. 
Yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> slaying, man. I can't even get in the fight. That's the annoying thing. <laughs> no, literally. Yeah. This is my jig, though. Really? Yeah. You just go like that? Yeah. Like, the, like, the faster you pull away from them, the faster they chase after it, too. Nah. You're gonna catch a bullet, man. One hour and 30 minutes. One hour and 30 minutes. And my buddy's already caught his limit. I have four. I can't stand fishing like how he said he was doing. According to him, he's doing big jigs up and then he's forcing them to chase up fast. I can't do that. <laughs> hey, crazy. He just drove out here. Finally, man, these are all cookie side cutters. Fish? I can't tell. <laughs> they really like that bottom guy though. They do. It's like a brown minnow. Anyways guys, I think I have it dialed down. So what I have is a chartreuse. A gold tungsten with a chartreuse uh, dragon slayer. Two feet above it, I have this brown minnow. It's uh, actually tungsten too. And on top, I have gold, tiny tungsten with a piece of wax. Oh, damn, bro. You got a nice school down there, Yeah. So, yeah. So, what I'm doing is I'm using that bottom lure to attract the school in. And then at the same time, once they're around, I'm getting the um, once the school starts gathering around the chartreuse guy, they just start swimming in and then it's like they have a lot of more options. Ooh. Oh man! Since uh, these Lake Herring, Tulubi, Cisco, whatever you want to call them, they're, uh, they're schooling fish. So, you just gotta bring the school in and then they're all gonna try to eat whatever is around. Cause just think about it, they're competing with uh, one another. That the school is going crazy again. As long as there's like one or two around um, and you drop down to it, you could pretty much attract. Uh, that means the school is pretty much around somewhere. You could pretty much bring them all and running to you. It's getting pretty crazy. Like the school is kind of thinning out now. See that one. Man, bro. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I 
it would be crazy guys if I could get a, a double up there's a school still there Ooh, something raced in oh here they come see they're all sinking to the bottom dropped down they saw just like true sky came swimming up to it and now they're still looking at the bottom gap and then like some of them are migrating up to my sliders on top see there's a lot of them just racing from the bottom up let's drop a little lower get right into the middle of school Oh, he let go. He ate the top one. Get fresh wax on there. Nah, it's not bad, you guys. Yes. Ooh. I don't think I even have to use wax. Um, they're eating both wax and that brown minnow just as a glue. So I think it's more of a as long as they see food in front of them. It's a school, so they're gonna be competing against each other to try to get the bait first. Alright, here they come racing in again. Actually, here guys. Let's try the plug-in. No guys, I had to do um had to go switch out batteries and stuff and I forgot to drop my line in the water. I lost the school. Dude, that was crazy. Dude. <laughs> that was insane. Again tomorrow? <laughs> Alright guys, that'll be it for today. Um, honestly guys, overall I had a blast. Uh, me and my buddy Drew over there. Um, we both came in not knowing a thing about catching these guys. Uh, Cisco's, Tulibi, um, Lake, Herring, whatever you guys want to call them. Yeah, we came in blind. Um, my brother told me just fish right where the holes are. And as, as you guys can see, like all these little mounds, these are all holes everywhere, all around us. So uh, clearly we are at the, the hot spot. We just had to find out how to catch them. Um, I struggled quite a bit when I first got here. Um, the bite was really subtle. Like honestly, like they'll chase it hard. It's kind of like whitefish. They'll chase it and then they just wouldn't commit and then they'll kind of like go away, come back. Kind of like a suspended perch in a way. And we, I, when they bit, I couldn't really feel it. It's just like they're so small where they're so, it's like a whitefish tiny white fish where like they bite it and you can't feel the bite but then you lift on it you can't really feel the weight too so it's kind of like we were just doing blind sets honestly um until i found out that um lure, luring them in with that chartreuse lure um bottom jig along with the two sliders on top um that was the key to it guys um so you guys decided to come out wherever i am not going to tell you guys where but or um, anywhere that has these kind of fish try that in the future Hopefully you guys get in on um, some action too. Alright guys, that'll be all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Till next time. Peace.